Lol, it hurt her. I got another kernel panic. This time you get to see what a kernel panic looks like on an IBM Model M. Looks like green flashing lights. And here's the sound that's coming out of the thing. Lol. Yeah. Um, well, Linux derping a brick, and that's Linux Mint 11, too. You, sir, are an asshole. I push button now. And watch the mooper restart. I don't know what did that. That was weird. Uh, I guess that was a curl derped. I'll show you what I'm using as an operating system. I'm using Mint 11 as an operating system. It has been an extremely stable operating system as well as being very fast. But uh, I got a kernel panic. That's that I'm associating with uh, uh, the dot thirty eight kernel because that's I've only started getting kernel panic since the two dot six dot thirty eight kernel. It's been a little strange. I couldn't tell you exactly what's causing it either. I, I thought it would, might have something to do with the NVIDIA drivers or something like that. But more and more I'm thinking it's just kernel issues that need to be sorted out. And that are upstream issues from Ubuntu or something. Yeah, well, the hard drive light over there just maying away. Come on. You can do it. You can do it. I don't know what's going on. I guess it's recovering a, a journal or something. But yeah, I got a freaking kernel panic again. <laughs> what the hell is going on, Linux devs? Fix your shit blocks. These 2.6.38 thing. I mean, I had Arch on here running 2.6.38 and it ran just fine. Put Mint 11 on here, then it starts derping. Um, it didn't do this in Ubuntu 11.04, but... I think what's happening here is just because Mint 11 is a release candidate at the moment and it needs some updates for that to stop. So, yeah. What I might do is just turn the compass effects off or something and let that be that. And, you know, there you have it. Uh, not much else to say, lol. Have a good one, everybody. Ciao.